Hey everybody and welcome back to Zeldude's Play Scarred Sword HD. Last time we explored Skipper's Retreat. Yeah, um, in the middle of the Lanayru Sand Sea, uh, one of the uh -huh. coolest areas in the game. True, we're, we're exploring the Sand Sea as well. Yeah, we've got our <laughs> sea chart and our... Uh, <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, sea chart obtained and now uh, mm -hmm. I suppose, yeah, we, we set sail again, right? Yep, let's go ahead and... Uh, Find what else existed in the sand sea. I mean, you know what would be kind of cool? Even though as much as I want it to be back in the past, I feel like I've said that enough. Um, you know, <laughs> exploring the actual sea. But it would have been cool yeah. to also just explore the sand sea in the present without the time shift crystal and run around and see how True. huge a yeah. big sea is. Whoa. Oh, and it like kind of not doubles in size, but, but adds a, a whole, whole new, new section. section. Yeah, I think yeah. Skyward Sword could have benefited with like some big open areas that you can explore freely like mm. a because this game lacks a, a hyrule field right doesn't it like you get ocarina of time twilight princess majora's mask they all have a big wide open field obviously the wind waker is the great sea and breath of the wild and tears, tears of the kingdom the whole game is is the open field whereas skyward sword lacks that kind of central area because the sky just doesn't quite fill that role like we've already yep. said it kind of misses out. It doesn't really have enough islands to justify exploring it too much. And, you know, uh -huh. it's only really Skyloft that's that's valuable. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is very Wind Waker with the, the explosive barrels right? around. Right? Any reason for it? I guess just don't run into them, but they don't do anything, right? <laughs> I'd, yeah, I don't know. Would you take down? Like, would you take a heart damage or would you? You know what? It, it wouldn't damage the, the boat, right? Right, yeah, you shouldn't. Have a Let's try. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, you just lost a heart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if we run over these guys? Oh, nice. Yo, that's kind of fun. Nice. <laughs> Hit and run. <laughs> yeah. A, a whole uh, assembly of them, like this back to back. <laughs> um, exactly. Shouldn't have been swimming in a perfect line then, should they? Yeah. <laughs> but okay, um, this is, what is, so this is the pirate... Uh, no, no, this is the... No, um, this is the... The rail This is the place. shipyard. Yeah, yeah, shipyard, um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and the... Uh, the goblins, cool. yeah. Yeah. And then, and uh, the, yeah, the, the pirates, the pirates hideout will be next. Uh, I'm surprised yeah, they're not tech bacoblins, because they look like the present ones. And also, wait, what? Oh, no, these ones are yeah. also... Okay, I forget how big the radius is. Oh, look. Another just group of them. <laughs> 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 they're not threatening at all. They're just there to die. <laughs> Yep, when you have a speedboat. <laughs> but yeah, it's weird about that. I thought they'd be like Technoblins back in the past. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought they'd have some sort of rail gun or something rather than a bow and arrow. But yeah, yeah. here we are, the shipyard. Um, yeah, aesthetically looks really cool. looking area, sort of, yeah, big big mm -hmm. towers. Um, Funky looking, so, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously, this is where, I assume that this is where the sand ship was created, right? I think that's the point of, of this place. Uh-huh. Like a uh, kind of a, like Oh, there you go, yeah, literally, yeah. The yeah. island we used to make our ships buzzed. Mm -hmm. You'll find the shipyard here. <laughs> you gotta make sure you do that sound effect as well. I think he does it all yeah, the course, time. Yeah, yeah vroom. <laughs> vroom. <laughs> yeah. It's like uh, in SpongeBob, like the people, uh, where was it, like below Bikini Bottom, they had to speak like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rock Bottom, or like right? Gorons go like uh, Goro all the time. Oh, yeah, but that's, I guess, that, to me, I think of it as, like, dude, you know, or uh, something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, they like to say it a lot or something. Um, but you're right, because he calls everyone Goro, right? I just imagine, you know, but Goro! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here we are, the shipyard. So, um, yeah, we, we saw a group of Araka at the port uh, when we uh -huh. first entered the Sand Sea area. And, yeah, we'll see... Um, a larger uh -oh. version of that quite soon. Oh, God. All right, it's your favorite enemy. Here we go. Yep. And they have a cool <laughs> ass... Okay. Wait, wait, whoa, I just... The first time I kind of... I guess kind of the audio kind of turned off. They're... Ah, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> Their tongue's out. It's, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm getting destroyed. Okay, let's... Wait, wait. Yeah. I forgot. The best way to deal with them is, is to... Is to parry. Is to parry, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm watching. Come on. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's the way. Yeah, that really undoes these guys. Oh, but they, they do like this uppercut that I just don't notice in time. Mm. Okay, there we go. There you go. No, 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 no! <gasps> no! 
<laughs> oh. Really? It despawned second. too quickly. That was way too fast. I'm sorry. Like, come on. Yeah. I should have been able to pick it up. But yeah, I, I, I guess these are also based off of their heads. They, To me, they look more like... Um, what are they called? Nutcrackers, kind of? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, um, yeah, less based off their head, I think, but more, uh -huh. yeah, just... Here he is, anyway, Gortram, uh, the yep, third yep. Goron that we've encountered in the game. I like uh, his hair. Pretty he, he does sick look, hair, yeah. Yeah, and cool mustache. Uh, he, yeah, definitely, that's like the biggest way to tell the difference between them. I don't know if he has a different symbol. I'm going to try to remember this one and see, but their tats are always yeah. really cool, and we could see the... Uh, Goron symbol right here, so. Yeah, oh, he's got kind of cool chain braces on. Mm hmm Oh, I guess, yeah, yeah Gorgram. Okay. Ram, I guess, huh. I, I don't know if there's, that's a reference to we're going to be ramming things with the car. <laughs> no, no, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I suppose, I don't know, like a tram is a bit like a, a little train, right? Um, oh, that makes more sense. I... <laughs> <laughs> I looked at, <laughs> but also, but also we will be, I don't know, ramming things. On, on, <laughs> we, That's a be better that way well. to look at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, this guy's apparently just been chilling here in the shipyard for years, mm. uh, just riding the carts every day, and he never gets bored. Yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, That's this is in. uh, instructions on how on how to use the carts. I love the little diagrams of the ancient yeah. robots. So yeah. That's honestly, Thousands yeah. Of, I mean. I can't read it. Even if I could read it, I would just look at these and be like, okay, figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> to be fair, I think that text just translates to, to literally what you see them doing. You know, like uh -huh. jump or whatever. or, or what, like it just. Yo, Link's ready to dance. <laughs> he, that, he's got some moves, yeah. But um, <laughs> I love the, the implication that, yeah, thousands of years ago, the ancient robots were like just grinding around on these rails. Yep. <laughs> I mean, but they're, yeah, they're so to, uh, small, you think they would have found a more efficient way that doesn't need a giant minecart or something. I don't know. I, true, but this this is gets style points, I think, for doing it this way. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this totally is a lot more. easier to do. Actually, this is the one thing that's way easier to do uh, without motion controls. Because, like, I'm just turning. That's it. You know, yep. I feel like I would mess this up a lot because I wouldn't tilt it properly. Um, when using motion controls, but no, this yeah. definitely and felt a lot better. It's very tempting to just go full speed all the time, but then it makes the oh. turns far more difficult because you. Oh, I even bought. I don't even think I went full speed at all. Was I? I don't know. Um, you can. I didn't tilt I the, what... the stick any. I only went left it and right. Seemed. I don't. It seemed you were going pretty quick, but yeah, I don't know. Oh well, okay. I love them. But yeah, I don't know what the top speed is. One thing I do like with the the minecarts, which we'll hear again in a second is um, you get like the music picking up in accordance with your speed. So mm -hmm. the faster you go, the faster the music plays, which is always yep. cool. We should, we should do this for the shortcut, right? <laughs> and just because it's fun. Yeah, true. We could just see Link uh, <laughs> grab on like <laughs> I love that. How he does it with like a complete deadpan yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> just another day at the office for him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. you'd think he would, I mean, even just be slightly worried. I, he doesn't have to be excited like you are, you know, going wee, but, <laughs> you know, you think he would at least, you know, just have kind of some reaction to it. Um, yeah. Is there a, I guess What's not. That, some of uh, these are just forever, you know, rusted. Yeah, can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, what What's that plaque on the wall? Construction bay. Ah, the construction bay with the, the sand ship on it, right? Or, oh, oh no, yeah. that is the construction no. bay. No, yeah. that's the, the construction bay. That's no. uh, that's very Titanic-esque as well with the, the funnels on top. Uh huh. Um, okay, I realize these kind of go uphill on their own without uh, any like anything to power it up. Which you'd think there'd be some kind of mechanic. Or I, I, honestly, I kind of forgot. I thought there would have been like um, a uh, time shift crystal or something, but I guess not. Yeah, to power them. Yeah, it, it needs to have that. You know, you go on a roller coaster, and to go upwards, it has to go like chug, 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 chug. Yep. Um, yeah. But Wait, do I click A or something? Uh, I no, I think you just need to be oh, at oh. quite a good speed to make the jumps. No. Oh, there, there's a way to speed it up. You press in the analog okay. stick. I didn't bother. You don't right. really. Oh, no, okay. that's how you jump. Never mind. Okay, I don't know which way I want to go. 
Maybe this was the right one. No. Uh, oh. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. This is, um, I mean, you know, I'm not on the sticks, but uh, this is one of the, the quite tedious sections sometimes with the, the motion controls, at least for me. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I'm just bad, but I remember tipping nah. myself off, off quite I a feel lot. Like, I feel like I would do the same. So like the fact that I'm doing this first try, I haven't played this in so long. Uh, hopefully yeah. I don't jinx myself. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. Really, like almost fell as I said that. But yeah, 100% uh, it just does feel easier. Whoa, okay. That was cool. Yeah. And so. that was the right way anyway, because here we are in the, the yep. construction bay part of the, the shipyard. Uh -huh. another, another dead robot. Yep. Or no, they're not dead because they're trying to speak. Just too rusted to just too, do too anything. Old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's um, that? Okay. To the okay. Last, last stop. stop. Construction yep. bay. Okay. Let's, yeah. Uh, let's uh, let's see what's in here. I'm, I'm sure there's there's nothing dangerous in here, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. We we spoke about this before. And actually, wait. Fi's gonna warn us as well, or no? Okay. Oh yeah. What does she say? Uh. So wait. They had. It looks like they were playing some uh, gacha game. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, the crank. With the passing of many years filled with sand. I can't remember if she says anything about the Moldorok. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, oh, so yeah, what's look the in point the of this? Clue. So it's just like we, uh, we, we gain an essence of where to go to next just by like being where it once was. I That's think so, yeah. That's a weird so, concept, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he, Skipper's lost his ship. So um, mm -hmm. yeah, we're, we're hunting, hunting for the sand ship right now. But or is all of these are 301 series. Um, cause some of them have different numbers, but these are all just 301. Yeah. Yeah, these guys. Skipper's 301, right? Ah, oh, there's a blueprints of the sand ship. Um, yep. so I do know that Hylian there. That's something I, I do remember. The Hylian on that says Dogu ship, which, oh, um, okay. I was saying a few episodes ago, that's, that's what the ancient robots are based on. The Dogu, uh, kind of a little figurine, um, that was made uh -huh. by, uh, I think the Jomon, uh, period in, of Japan. So yeah, you know, they're, they're, they're very old robots. Why not design them yep. after old figurines? Huh. But here we are, Moldorak. No music. Surprise okay, music attack. Starts. Yep. Just, he just comes out and like, okay, battle begins. They're literally treating him just like a normal enemy. Oh god. Yeah, he doesn't get the the title card that he, he did yep. when he was a boss. Uh, yep. And yeah, he, he he's far easier this time. Now we've got the the long sword dealing oh, true. twice the it's damage. A, this is a great example to see. How things have changed as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> I like Link's reaction though when he gets grabbed, how he's just like constantly hitting it until it lets go. Oh god. Um, oh, wait, can you right. parry that attack too? I wonder. I don't know. Yeah, let's have a go. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I think missed. it missed that time, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's have a go. Oh, okay. Well, was I that? Did, I oh, no, no, that wasn't a parry. It. it took. The shield took some damage yeah. there, but. Yeah, it's, it's already repaired. There you go. And you all can. of the damage now. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. So I think you were right last episode or whenever it was we oh. upgraded the shield. I don't think it seems to increase the health, but it definitely seems to increace the speed it regenerates. Yep. Someone, also, I love this. Sure so will... Link is like, you give me food. <laughs> He's like, it's found a good table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure someone will point out in the comments if I'm, if I'm wrong on that. And the, the actual health did increase. Um, which, if it did, I'm not sure. Uh -huh. But either way, it's far more durable now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, yeah, this is when it gets annoying when he starts hiding. Yeah, but it didn't take long, actually. Yeah, immediately you just kind of... Yeah, that was a lot. Actually, yeah, it's so yeah. much right, easier you... when you just think of parrying. Because before, yeah, I would try to, like, completely ignore his Get out of attack. the way of his attacks and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, then you spend more time kind of getting back round to a position when you can hit him. Whereas if you parry, you're always in the spot. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there you go. That was significantly easier than when he was a boss. Yep. Um, that was Moldorak again. And nothing except just, oh, a bunch of hearts at least. So, okay. So, five pretty much, what, is able to find clues here. Okay, no. Like, I... I'm confused. Okay. To me, so, this is this is a pointless endeavor. It's so weird to me. It's right. right? You're into like, the room. She's like, hmm. There might be something to do with the sand ship in here. And then, 
So, I don't know, did she get confused between the sand ship and a giant scorpion? Do they kind of right? read the same on her system? Or just because, you know, the blueprints and the creation was here, so, like, her readings were off. She's like, oh, I thought it would be here, you know? It's an... It's, yeah. I'm not like, it's really weird that they, they throw you in for a loop. It's just like, there was no point of this. Whole, this whole thing was pointless. It was just to pad time, which I find interesting because Zelda doesn't normally do that. There's usually a reason behind it, but this actually had no reason. Um, yeah. Which is oh, well, we got to see a cool area. but um, Yeah, yeah, no, no, of course. It was fun, fun nonetheless, but yeah. So, okay, now she's... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, she's not even sugarcoating it anymore. Zero percent chance. No. Oh. Um, substantially unfavorable odds. Okay, that's one way. <laughs> uh, one way to put it. So then I guess we just start looking for it. I thought she would have gained some kind of clue, like a, a maybe in a part that was left over and be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to identify it with, you know, the rest of the ship and then we'll, you know, douse for it. But I guess we're going to figure out right now. Yeah. How do we we'll do see that. what, see what Skipper says anyway. But um, yeah. I just noticed on the, on the walls of that building, there's wave patterns that I, I hadn't seen before, which makes which sense building? for for a ship. Uh, the, the the construction bay. Oh yeah, yeah, like oh okay, like yeah, ocean yeah, yeah. waves or like yeah, water yeah. waves. Makes yeah, sense. Just... Build ships. Why not? Mm -hmm. Okay, let let's see what what Skipper says about. <laughs> yep. The and since, ship. Yeah. So I just pick up whatever I can find. Um, I'm not gonna even though I wanted their tail and I could totally use it. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. What are you saying? Okay. Okay, so if it wasn't there, there's only one place left. Okay, right. Oh, so that's literally it. It's, oh, if it's true. not there, then there must be a clue at the pirate hideout. Okay. Hum, interesting. And then that also will be kind of useless, right? Yeah, although whatever, I can't remember what we'll find at the pirate hideout, but obviously we do unlock the ability to douse for the sand ship there, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I can't actually remember, but let, let's, let's go investigate. But we yep. definitely have to... To douse for it and and find the sand ship somewhere in the sea later on. Yep, and I just realized we never explored here. This was an optional area, maybe? I doubt, or maybe we'll end up going there as well. I guess we'll see. But I yeah, don't remember. Yeah, we have a look. Skyward Sword doesn't have many optional areas. Option, really, yeah, does sadly, it? yeah. But if I yeah. can find one, I'll, I'll definitely explore it. Yeah, absolutely. But first, let's Somebody go see... Somebody can't uh, move the camera around here. Some areas... Whoa, okay, what happens? Boom. That's it. Ooh. And okay, oh, yeah. he's dead. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, these guys are useless. Like, yeah. And they just die. Is that explosion uh. gonna hit you? Oh. Or is it even gonna explode? Oh, oh there you go. okay. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I did damage to the other one. Um, again, like maybe I rammed into it again, but that one I guess I had to like actually hit. But okay, yeah. Wow, yeah. this pirate area looks so yeah. dope and. I, I love forgot. these robot skulls, these like mm -hmm. cube skulls on the on the posts. Yep. Yeah, and then pirate the, stronghold. Yep, and then we see like it was literally based off of what, a giant shark, right? We're gonna see right now. Yeah, kind of like yeah, something like that. It um, yeah. reminds me of uh, what Jabu was Jabu. Name? Clanker from from Banjo oh. Kazooie or Jabu, oh, true. Or Jabu Jabu. Yeah, true. Well, um, I could see both. Yeah. Yeah. But if you think about it, they should all be dead. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's interesting. Look, the uh, skipper seems aware that he's only talking to Link because he's animated by the time shift stone. Uh, yeah, that's one yeah. thing. The, the the way the time shift stones work is kind of something that doesn't really make sense if you think too hard about it. Um, again, like we've been saying with with things like Tears of the Kingdom's time loop, um, I don't mind paradoxes with time travel because time travel especially to the past, you know, is a paradox. So, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't really it doesn't really matter. But the way time shift stones work it is very confusing if you try and wrap your head around it. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah. But it's such a cool mechanic, so I'll give it a pass. Yeah, it's a, it's a staple in the Zelda series that I, I want every game to explore to some extent. You know, some games do it better than others. Uh, this game, it's... There's good and bad to it. Let's just say that. Like, uh, a lot of confusion when it comes to... Specifically, the main plot, which we'll get into when the time comes, but um, yep. stuff like this, where it's like gameplay oriented, uh, it's pretty cool. I do like it. Too bad. It's I think only this, in is, this, area. this is fantastic. I think this yeah. is so great. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, time shift stones. If they had them, 
I, you know, I'd be happy if they crammed that in every single area because it just makes it so interesting. Because mm -hmm. Lanayru is is not only the biggest, most interesting area; it's also kind of two areas in one because yep. you get the past and the pre and the present, which is so great. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, yeah, we unlock a, a different type of time shift stone here. We get time yeah, shift one we orbs. Can carry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which um. Uh, that yeah, that mechanic is super fun as well because yeah, you take it with you and like it's gonna it's gonna heavily influence how you solve this area. You know whether like specifically doors like this uh, we're gonna see right now. So um, and overall, I do I, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually really cool. I feel like the game doesn't have enough of these either, where it's like mini dungeons. Like this is truly like a miniature dungeon. It's right. Um, this feels kind of like a, a proto shrine sort of thing. It's like a tiny little. Even better. Tiny little mini dungeon before yeah. uh, before the big dungeon. Uh -huh. But yeah, but this, is, this is larger than shrines, or at least most and And themed really better. Like, shrines are too basic. Sometimes there's one puzzle, and you're done. But, like, these have um, a cool theme to it. They're long, you know? Like, something about shrines, it's like, it's usually an open room, and then you solve the puzzle throughout it, right? Um, right. Oh, nice. and, and we're not we're not doing a puzzle for... A Sheikah monk or for Rari. Yeah, to get the we're same investigating, exact you know, an ancient pirate robot fortress, <laughs> which yep. is so much more interesting. Yeah, 100%. If, if like, Zelda in the future um, has many, many dungeons like shrines, but they're all unique in their own way, whether they're actual caves or, like, a miniature part of a temple or something, I think that'd be way cooler because shrines can get repetitive. Stuff like this never will because they're all unique in its own way. And, yeah, like, I mean, again, like, yeah, just the, the scale of this place is huge and it's super cool. Yep. But, okay, here it is. What have you so, got to say about it? Fine. So there are orbs, right? That, I guess that's what you call them. Time shift orb. Time shift yeah. orb. Yeah. 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 They look but a yeah, lot. Yeah, just, just, just having the theme in this area just elevates it so much. Like, mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of discussion uh, at the moment about kind of Zelda lore and Zelda stories in, in general. Oh wow, I've never, I've never looked inside right? the time shift orb. <laughs> yeah, they look way different. Uh, They're not even like a crystal at all. It's like right? some weird kind of device. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I mean, it looks interesting. Also, oh, yeah. Wow. Look at that. So just seeing the, how rusty yeah. it was, how beautiful this could have looked. Now how clean it is, yeah. yeah. But yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about Zelda stories, and I, I've seen a few people kind of say, you know, it's never been about the story with Zelda. It's, it's always been purely gameplay. And it's just it's just not true. You know, the developers, yeah. uh, oh. you know, maybe the, the entire timeline as it is in Hyrule Historia, that maybe is, is something that's a little bit more of a fan... Um, I wouldn't say fan invention, but clearly something that fans are more interested in than the people who make the games themselves. Yeah. But the actual stories of Zelda games and the lore of each game Bro. as in, as like an individual world, what is happening? I want to knock him away so I could just show <laughs> what happens, but like now I, he's just... Okay, you know what? Screw this guy. I'm just going to kill him. But like, there you go. I just want to show that, how you can knock him yeah. out of his time. You can knock him out of... Know. Yeah, exactly. But, but yeah, having, I'm just getting shocked. Having this, okay. like having the fact that this is such a cool concept for a place, you know, and it has this kind of lore and backstory, just makes it infl oh. infinitely more interesting than um, anything in Breath of the Wild or, or Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, mm. So it, I think it is it's so crucial that these games continue to, to have these stories and, and their own universes, you know? Yeah, I like how this dude was so afraid of the bomb he's willing to run out of his time, or like the you know <laughs> yep. the past time just to escape it. <laughs> yeah, that is hilarious. See, that's that's what kind of doesn't make sense about the time shift stones because if you think about it from the Technoblin's perspective, right? He's running around and it's just it's normal for him Whoa. to live in the past, and then he runs and then suddenly does he die instantly and his corpse stays there until? The present it's, day, like, as long, I, don't really like, I guess, as long it. as his core, yeah, right, huh? You're right, because so does if he, just he died, die he might have died from old age or something, right? So he, how does he come back like that? Yeah. But maybe, hmm. And then, yeah, his body completely disappears when he's dead, dead. But like, if he has his core, if he has his skeletons remaining, they, it, yeah, again. But th that's the whole thing. Uh, time travel will never make sense. 
but we have to just kind of roll with it there has to be a sort of like just acceptance or if you if you take things too literal you're never going to be happy with any fictional media though that's you know but time travel yep. definitely is yeah one of those things exactly. where you just really have to ignore a lot of things yeah and zelda's always taken a more fantasy approach to, to time travel rather than a, a sort of science fiction approach where in science fiction stories it's always you know there will still be paradoxes and stuff but it's tr they try and explain it a little bit more whereas zelda it's just you know time travels magic and um yeah it's used for for plot or, or gameplay reasons and you know you it will have plot holes inevitably but it doesn't matter uh-huh Okay, uh, here's an example of like, you want it, you can't take it to a certain point. I do like these. I do like the concept behind it though. Like, you know, yep. it's completely blocking you, but to get it in, you have to like go around without it. And yeah, there we go. Um, some this, areas. This is this is where uh -huh. Skyward Swords at its best. I think just really tight yeah. Zelda level design. It, yep, it's just great here. I agree 100%. Um, yeah, some of these areas, I feel like you do it really well with the time shift crystal. Like, see, like this as well. Like, I actually genuinely yep. really like these puzzles, like how they're meant to be solved. Um, yeah. Like, see, I got to go like this. Uh, and yeah, I, I feel like Nintendo could have done way more with this concept in other areas throughout the game. But again, it's, you know, it's whatever. At least we're going to get a whole dungeon based off this outside of... It's actually interesting now that I think about it, because we did the mining facility, and then the next actual dungeon was another one of these. It's like Nintendo kind of really went on a roll with this concept um, back to back. Like, when you really think about it, we literally go from the Lenero mining facility to this. This is the next main dungeon right after the mining facility. Um, well, there's is interesting. ancient cistern uh, in between. Oh, no. But... Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> How do I forget but, about yeah. the ancient system? <laughs> it's, it's so good that it's kind of it doesn't count as a dungeon. It's elevated above. Yeah, right. Actually, you're so right. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Whoa, whoa! They want to eat it. Yeah, they're all they're all in sync. Yeah, I, I didn't think they. Yeah, if you can, they actually eat it or. I don't know. Uh, no. But I guess but you're yeah, right. I think um, they, they definitely they... during development they realized how fun this was and just rolled with it. And uh -huh. That's why. Laneru is so much bigger than the other areas because yeah, it's just got the best everything here. It's just the best part of Skyward Sword. Yep. Um, I, but I guess, yeah, I, maybe the reason why I thought that is because uh, there isn't any... Uh Oh, did that kill it in one hit? Whoa, okay, well, wow. I really feel the damage buff. Goddess okay. Longsword. Yep. Um... But I guess because there's like they they kind of went out of order. I guess maybe that's why I felt that way. Because um, we go from back to the forest temple straight to this one, and no fire in between. Which You're is right. Like yeah. yeah, it's forest fire desert, forest desert fire, which mm -hmm. is, yeah is a weird order. You're right. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm thinking. So I don't. I want this out of here, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I hate these tech moblers these so guys. much. Yeah. Like, I know uh, there's an easy way to do it. I know you're supposed to bait him, like, have the sword facing mm -hmm. this way. It's the same thing with taking on Giraham and then hit the other way. But see, it's just oddly not as easy to do with, um... With the buttons. With, yeah, uh, with the, the sticks yeah. or whatever, yeah. 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 Um, okay, well, this is a classic pushing this to, uh... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Wait. Wait. What? Oh, no, it opened. Never mind. I was so confused for a sec. So, wait, can I make it to the other side like this? Okay, yeah, there we go. So, that's literally how you solve it, which is mm -hmm. pretty interesting. You can't bring it in with you, but you need to make sure you can utilize it to come back. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not, overall, it's not a Zelda game without sliding blocks and pressure mm -hmm. plates. Yeah, yeah. I mean, no, I'm like, even though I said before, I think that I, I missed that, but at the same time, I understand why Nintendo removed it. It is just time consuming for the sake of, you know, you, you it's don't very feel really, slow moving the yeah, block around. <laughs> there's no reason for it to exist. Like, it, it, removing it in newer games is not like it will actually be missed. I think it's just nostalgia speaking. I literally specifically mm -hmm. think about like the Forest Temple from Ocarina of Time, because that's probably where you do it the most. In. True. Uh, yeah, there's, yeah, and it kind of feels because you you do it in in tight corridors in the forest temple as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I I think they're they're better when they're 
on dry land, right? I don't like it when you have to start sliding them around on ice. <laughs> uh -huh. That's when things get a bit mad for me. Yeah. Wow, that parry. Yeah. I like how you can do that. It's uh, I never do that on them. I just run quickly and try to slice them down. But there we go. Yeah. Uh, doesn't kill them in one hit like Breath of the Wild Guardians. It just stuns them in this game. But oh well. yeah, it doesn't reward you that much for parrying in this game. Uh, which I understand why it's a lot easier than and Breath of the Wild is sort of like the what's it called perfect no it's not even called perfect parry is it the perfect uh, parry is the name or something like that yeah is it I don't know yeah shield bash I don't know whatever um, this game it's a shield bash that's oh, okay is it not just parry in Breath of the Wild then or maybe it's perfect maybe. parry yeah either way yeah it's it, you feel a lot more deserved wow Ooh. when you do they it they came out um, swinging. It, yeah, maybe I should have done one at a time, but it's fine. They, they can't leave their, uh, the circle. Their, their time bubble, yeah. Yeah. Okay. This, I remember, used to be so annoying to do with motion controls as well, actually, because... The stab. Um, yeah, the stab, because sometimes you just yeah. wouldn't stab. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, it's so difficult to do with a Wiimote. I don't know why, it's just... It just does not pick it up well yep. at all. And like, I, I, I remember you, there's like a, to stab, I'd, I'd always change the way I held the Wiimote. Um, and I don't really know how to describe how I'd hold it for the stab, but I'd like hold it from the bottom and sort of like try and hold it as flat as possible. And then move it forward like exactly parallel with the, the floor. And it still wouldn't pick up. Yeah. Ah, uh, but yeah. We've, we've opened the, the, uh, the pirate stronghold. That's, it is very jabby jabbo actually like that. Yeah. You're right. It, it, it's so it's so cool looking. I wish though placing the time shift orb in here would have completely reverted this whole place back in time. Um, but mm. I guess it somehow sent power to the rusted, you know, giant, you know, jaw and, and caused it to yeah. open. I have no clue. Yeah, because time shift stones obviously they do revert things to the past. Uh, but yeah, it does also seem to be some sort of fuel source uh, for mm -hmm. for the ancient robots. Like the the ship we used seemed to run on time shift stones. But that's a cool design above the door. Like yeah, that yeah. Evil eyes, an evil sun or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, true. I didn't I didn't notice the sun. Looks really <laughs> creepy. Um, yeah. Oh, and what are what the hell are these? Yeah. Uh, well, it's got a tail, like a yeah, right. Like a, like a mermaid, like but it looks like mermaid. a a bird almost, but with a yeah. mouth. I mean, it has a beak or a, or a long nose with the mouth. That makes more sense. With like a pompadour or like some kind of no idea what they're trying to depict here. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, but okay, okay. I think we're Very we got to go up. We don't want to leave yet because yeah. technically we haven't done anything yet. So let's figure out what all of this was for. Uh, overall, again, yeah. The, this whole area is so cool looking. And oh, was it really all for this? Mm. Probably not. Good to I mean, I'm sure. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's still useful, but I think there's something else we're gonna come across. No, we don't go um, higher. I, I can't remember. Go speak to Skipper. I think. Yeah, because we unlock the ability to douse for the ship. Um, I don't know if there's anything oh. you have to interact with, or... Uh -huh. Oh, okay, here we go. Maybe yeah. she'll just tell us how to douse for it now. Oh, we'll it, or maybe... Oh, she's literally gonna... Ah, okay. Uh, right, oh. okay, so... All this stuff is, is remains yeah. from the sand ship. Ah, uh, that's such a weird concept. Yeah, so now she can douse for it. It's like, yeah, again, so we didn't find any key item. It's just like now, somehow with whatever remnants she's able to find. And that's what I thought was going to happen in the shipyard. Um, yeah. But it's interesting that that door just took us out there. Could we, have we not just left through the previous door? Yeah, I right? suppose so. Yeah. Um, uh, I whoops. don't know. I suppose you just have to, to go through the whole thing to unlock that dialogue from, from Fi. And yeah, yeah, you're right. It is weird that we do... Um, <clears throat> the shipyard and the pirates' stronghold, and don't really get anything from it. We just, yeah. uh, just while we're waiting for for Fi to figure out what's going on, basically. Yeah, and you heavily rely on her. Like it's just, yeah, it's, it seems like 
Some, I don't know, you should expect something else out of like this whole endeavor, not just, you know, to be like, oh, well, we didn't find anything per se, but at least we can now look for it. So, wait, is this door like locked or? I'm confused why it didn't come out of this door. I'm gonna just double check. I mean, it's cool to come out where, you know, the, the mouth was closed on the giant thing, but, uh, it, oh, yeah. oh, it just locks yeah. you in. For well, you could reason. you could jump off the edge there, but I wouldn't do that because then we've got to go through the whole thing again <laughs> to come out of the we, door. But yeah, oh, you're yeah. right that you yeah. couldn't back so you, you couldn't backtrack. Yeah. yeah, I know. But then we'd have to go through the whole thing to come out of the door we just came out of. Um, the, the reason you thing. couldn't, as in, we have to go through the whole pirate stronghold again no, if you, you jump down there. No, 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 no. What, what do you mean? That door takes us to the center. It takes it takes us to that door over there. Oh, of course. Yeah, that door, that door was locked at the start. Yeah, no, yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's no, fine. Yeah. Weird. Huh? Either way, let's uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. Yeah, come on, Skipper. Yeah. What have you got for us? Okay, so I hmm. Wait, should I? I'm trying to think because now we're gonna chase down the ship, right? Yeah, we'll definitely find mm -hmm. a ship. So, do I want to do that now, or should I? Uh, because once we do it, we'll immediately, once we find it, we enter the ship, right? Maybe I should head back to Skyloft before we start searching for it. Um, yeah, true. Yeah, why not? Let's um, let's head up to the sky and then, you, yeah, because you're right. We, we douse for the ship, we cannon it, and then, uh, yeah, then we're immediately in dungeon number five. Yep. Maybe we'll check for what's on that last area on the map that we haven't checked you know it seems like there's one more area we can explore um mm -hmm. we'll probably check for that as well but yeah let's just see what we can grab so i do want to see if i can upgrade my beetle i can use more rupees and then that will actually let us get you know um the rupees that we couldn't get last time because yeah we need to upgrade it for further distance i believe someone mentioned that in the comments which i guess yeah i completely um didn't think of that. I forgot that's literally how you make the beetle better. Because I originally thought the upgrade you get from one of the little robots was good enough to, like, give you what you need. But it's crazy how much, how important these oh, upgrades are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, oh. The oh, wait, there's a activated yeah. goddess chest there. Wait. Yeah. Okay, well, first um, let's see if we have the parts. I hope so. Um, oh, let's come have on. a moment of truth. No! no! <laughs> we need ancient flower. Right. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I don't know. Those are not easy to Do find. You... Yeah, I think, yeah, we'll, we'll... I'm sure we'll find them at some point. We can, uh... Depends how desperately two. we need the uh, the upgraded beetle now. Obviously, it would be nice for things like those rupees. Um, yeah. But towards the end of the game, obviously, we will unlock the ability to buy a lot of these resources mm -hmm. uh, from... From the gossip stone, what's it called? The Moonlight Merchant on Skyloft. Yep. Hi, is she? Oh, is, is she, she telling us how? Thanks, yeah, Fi. For, for the first time. Why is that? That's weird. There's really? no way the game expects because we got this. There's no what? Oh, yeah, I'm so confused. We got this m much later on. But okay. Yeah. Thanks. Wait. Do we know which one this was? This wasn't the one in Faron, right by the Great Tree. What right? if it was? It could have. It could it well be. Did. Yeah. If it is, then because we missed that right at the start of the game, and that could be mm -hmm. what the game wants to be your first goddess chest. Yep, I do like um, the way they look, though. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh -huh. I like the yeah, the, the kind of it's a uh, kind of like a pearl texture to them. Mm -hmm. Nice. There okay, go. well there good. you go. Um, let's see. So with that, we could probably head to Beetle and purchase some stuff. I'm trying to think of what else we could. There's not. That's what I'm saying. Kind of sucks because there's literally not much outside of literally Skyloft in terms of like where to go and what to do. Because like, you know, uh, Wind Waker is the best game to compare to this game because it's the other Zelda game that has you travel a open area on a you know some kind yep. of whether it's not a vehicle but a mode of transportation, right? You can't just kind of go out yep. on yep. your yeah, um, and. That game, it's like, oh, if I had a bunch of rupees, I would think, oh, maybe I can go to, you know, literally beetle all around the sea or go to Windfall or go to Dragon Rooster. I feel like there's a lot more options. Actually, does Dragon Rooster even have a shop? I'm thinking it's mainly beetle Be and then... Uh, yeah. Um, but no, you're right. Beetle circles all of the islands. Yeah, yep. but you, you can also find him out in the sea in certain places. And 
Yeah, they gave Beadle a flying ship shop in this. But yeah, he's um, only here. You're I, right. He only circles the bazaar in Skylock. I wonder if Nintendo like considered it, but like limitations stopped them. Maybe like it would have just been Maybe. too much to have Beadle all around. Or maybe even convenience sake, like, oh, I have to literally fly to him every time. I just want to go back to Skyloft and do all my... But it would have been cooler because he's right above the bazaar. He doesn't need to be above the bazaar. Let, let us search for the dude. Also, yeah. make sure there's some high-tech stuff he has going here. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't know what it's meant to be, really? but... <laughs> so that maybe Beetle got his hands on time shift stones or something. Wouldn't yeah. put it past him. Um, uh, so what do you want to do? Do you want to buy the buy the pouch? or? I don't have enough for that, but oh, I almost okay. have enough for this. Wow, yeah. Uh, what um, about the... You know what? So we never run across, like, a, an, you know, an awkward situation where we fill up our wallet. I don't mind carrying as many rupees as possible. I love how we can carry so much because um, yep. yeah, I don't want that issue to happen again. Uh, but alright. So now he won't knock us off as well. Okay, what about this? The bug metal. Maybe No, okay. That's way too expensive. Oh, that's extortion. A thousand yeah, and I'm not going to get my money back. Metal. There's no right. way Stritch is going to give me that much money's worth. Maybe, I mean, eventually over time, but like it's not worth the investment in my eyes. Exactly, and we're, we've we've already lost so much money to Dodo, so mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> not uh, worth Fledge it. Is still oh, here. okay, we could do we could do Fledge. I think he'll have he'll have improved his his press ups a little bit. If you want to do that, or uh -huh. um, um, we could always leave yeah, that so for come later. by, give me pointers. So let's do it. Let's head back nice. and give give him a couple. Do pointers. you have a, a stamina potion on you, or do we need oh, an upgraded stamina potion? Um, or is it just regular salmon? I can't remember. No clue. Maybe he just, I mean, he probably just needs a refill on the, I'm sure it's just, yeah, the, the Yeah, because you can talk to um, the husband to upgrade them. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what, he's got a text bubble. I, I wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, that it's probably might about actually, baby's rattle. That might, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, let's use this. Okay, I'll, I'll grab it then. Let me, yeah, let's just first see what he says then. Yeah, what's he say? Probably Sigh. no sleep or something. Uh, yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, because yeah. of that little. Yeah, so we can do that now. We've got the claw shots, which will be, um, I think, just okay. more gratitude crystals. We'll do that as well. Then yeah, and I, I, do we come at night? Yeah, we have to because he's he's here all day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So wait. Okay. Let's see. Uh, infusing potions. Oh, we can. Oh, so that's what you do with bugs. You can make them. Yeah. Infused. I didn't. I didn't even think of this but I, I, I can't remember if you need a, a, an infused potion for for the fledge quests or if it is just regular green no it's um, regular it's you think it's just regular be, okay yeah he, he literally just needs a re-up you know he needs his plug link to, to, <laughs> to hook him up <laughs> with the roids yeah <laughs> deal him a bit of green you know yeah <laughs> So let's do that then. Um, and yeah, since since that night time, we'll we'll do the other thing as well. Just see if whatever else we can cover. Plus, I want to see if Pippet is now. I guess he already confessed to us the truth that he took the job for for money. So, right. Uh, yeah. And but all I, that I money, know, of course, we, is funneled directly to us. Yeah. Can we further progress his quest though? Yeah, what's he um, saying? Okay, well, chill, man. You don't know what's going yeah. on. But I guess I appreciate the optimism. Yes, you did, talking about our girl like that. <laughs> you don't know like, her. I know where she is. You don't. Like, she's not <laughs> yeah. coming. She's never coming back. Literally, she, she's never coming back. I don't think she sets yeah, foot you're right. again, right? I mean, yeah. maybe afterward. Like, we can only imagine what happens in the, you know, happily ever after, right? That, but that's the True. point. You don't... You're not supposed to yeah, she says she wants happens. to to settle on the surface, but maybe she, yeah. you know, holidays up in Skyloft or something. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> or when the weather is bad, just go up there because you know you're above the clouds. It's kind of like something I actually do. I, okay, well, I don't like the weather system too much in like Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. I do like how specifically in Tears of the Kingdom you can fly above the clouds and and just be out of it, you know, and not have to deal That's with great. the rain. It is very yeah. nice that it's always sunny up there. Yep. Always. Yeah. <laughs> okay, damn, okay, you can do more push-ups than me, man. I can't even do, like, <laughs> what, what was he on? He was on 50. Damn, Fledge, nice one. Yeah, but I mean, I'm sure okay. if you give yourself a week, like, you know, that's usually how it starts. I start off with, like, 10, 
the next day. It's really depend if I, I I'm never consistent. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the, he didn't need a uh po he I guess he's beyond weak though. Um, yeah. Um yeah, but not for long. Eventually, yeah, they kick in and become unhumanly. Like they literally he does stuff that's unrealistic. Yeah. It's like it's a funny. Vegeta push ups later on. Yeah. <laughs> Not well, actually, nah. I mean, Vegeta's push-ups with z like, uh, gravity. That's true. That's like four hundred times Earth's gravity, or something like that. Yeah. But okay, what do you think yeah. is a I've... better? Um, I think I guess uh, it's not about the numbers. Really, is uh, uh, the best I, advice. That's right? I don't know. I think a thousand is the right answer. I think you're not truly strong if you can't do a thousand push-ups at once. <laughs> Should I go with that? Yeah. See what he says. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see. Like. <laughs> oh. But it's funny how he's like, oh, give me advice. No, really, I just want the stamina potion. But I'll take your advice, too. Like, at the end of the day, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Um, yeah. He's all on about the hard work and the advice and all that. He, you know, doesn't mention the stamina potion. That's the real secret. Oh. Cheater. <laughs> it would have been nice if you had a quest where he beats up Groose or, like, stands up to Groose after all that work. Uh, that would have been cool to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'd still put my money on Groose, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay, we can't exit at nighttime through here, right? Yeah. Um, no, I think yeah, we'll have to. Um, we have do to, we have go to back set it? Can you go out the top exit? I think you can. Yeah, you can. No, you can. Um, it's that's yeah, how we yeah. follow yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course um, you can. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking of should we? Let's see. This is occupied too, right? Always. Yeah. The <laughs> the headmaster always has his <laughs> nightly bath. Every night but, he has an incredibly long bath. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good for him. But it's weird how they only have one bath and it's like, um, it's a whole school and it's, there's boys and girls and it's like, yeah, no, share the same bathroom. There's one bathroom, one bath. Too bad. Um, yep. Which is and there's always a, an old man in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> right, uh, but now I was of doing we have to the, play uh, the game of can you remember the right house? Because I sure can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't either, but I think it's uh, I think it's this way. Maybe uh, I might be wrong, but we're gonna give it a shot. Um, no, but okay. I was thinking of like the the hand toilet stuff, you know. The, oh, of course. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Owner. Oh, we nice. Can read wow. them. First, first try. Wow. Right, but like you can actually what? read the name after you enter it for the first time. So wait, oh, the wife is just man, that's messed up. She's like, ah, so you, you, you deal with the baby. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we have to speak to them to find it? I guess you have to get the dousing ability. I don't know. I don't know if you have to do this yeah. in order. Um, oh, I don't know, actually. But uh, anyway, yeah. Are you tired? Well, he's already told us he's tired. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess... Wouldn't that be just as annoying if the baby's using the... Um, <laughs> if he's like rattling all night, yeah. Yeah, right? <laughs> but I love it. He's like, oh, I haven't had a wink of sleep or whatever. And his wife's just completely conked out right next <laughs> <Yeah>. to him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she's probably like, I carried him for nine months. You, you, now you have to take care of him. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's the guy who like makes all the potions as well. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't got a good deal there, Bertie, I don't think. <laughs> Baby's pretty cute, even though like there's not enough. Like the Nintendo barely put detail on the baby. You know, they expect you to. It's got yeah, like five polygons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's probably what makes it name. cute. <laughs> oh wait, was he taller? Hey, than, go. Oh no, it's the wife. I'm like, cause I, I thought it was the husband. I'm like, wait, is was he taller than her at one point? Like the baby yeah. shrunk him or something? <laughs> it's weird how in like in Zelda's room you've got that incredibly detailed painting of her. Right, and this is some crappy and this oil. Is, like what's going on there? Yeah, <laughs> um, probably low resolution camera or bad artist, one or the other. <laughs> you know, like the painter <laughs> probably <laughs> is a lot more fake. I mean, because you can still look at that as an art style, and it does look cool, right? It's not, it's not horrible. Yeah, I could, I could see the value in it. Oh, and I forgot. So oh, we can swim. nice. We yeah, can go is, down here. That, is there? What's in here? Is there a piece of heart? Or I can't remember. Or maybe I got his cube chest. But we're gonna figure out. Is, well, yeah, okay, well, we look. can't see it now, but yeah. It's good. This is pretty nice though, because there's not many areas you revisit where you swim underneath. There is both. Ah, uh, is a goddess a, chest. Yeah. Yeah, goddess chest. But it's fine. At least we got this. And okay, 
Yeah, good thing right. we don't have to worry at all about the rupees. But yeah, you think you could just, like, let's be honest, Link, you can fit through this. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> but since the game like, says it, it, no. Exactly. It's like in cartoons when someone's in jail, the bars in the prison are always like way wider than the characters, but they, they can't fit <laughs> yeah. through for some reason. <laughs> it's just, yeah, Limit. game says so, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, there's like it. You, you. I mean, it kind of reminds me of. I guess you would know what I'm talking about, like Little Britain, where the computer says no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Like, there's no logical reason, but uh, computer says no. So. Computer says no. <laughs> yeah. uh, but okay. do you remember how to get to the the rattle? I, I remember you have to. Do you Is jump off this? that island and it's it's on the roof of? It's in like the chimney of someone's house. Uh huh. I think maybe it's Let's through here. I have no clue. Well, wait, is there a chat? Well, at least okay. Ah, okay. No we'll matter get, what we'll we want to be doing. Anyway. Yeah. But I, I'm. This is ringing a bell. I'm pretty sure you have to jump off here onto. The yeah, roof maybe of maybe it will let you skydive. Like it rarely lets you, but I think specifically here, it's a skydive area. If that makes any sense, like you know, if it's a pathway that looks like you can dive, Link will dive. Um, yeah. Okay, but, but uh, let's pick up this. Hey, nice. Yeah. But there might be a, a gossip stone ahead as well. Might as well do that. See what material oh, we get. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess for most of the side quests, yeah, it's all about the gratitude crystals. Like, we're not going to get anything from doing this outside of that, right? Like getting the rattle. I guess we'll yeah, give him so. a chance nice. to sleep. But, oh, nice. <gasps> That's a Is that new a heart container. Way. Oh. Perfect. There you okay. go. That's let's good before a dungeon. Yep. Let's see. Let's actually see if this goddess, um, or uh, Chica stone, gossip stone, they're not even yeah, called Chica stone, stones, yeah. uh, will give us. Oh, <laughs> oh nice. Oh, okay. okay. Goddess yeah, that's, bloom, nice. Yeah, but let's see. Um, is he going to give us a tip? If you try to dive off the ledge, yeah, there. Yes. Literally, there there's a go. nest. What are the odds? Like, I, I had a feeling he was going to give us that same tip because, again, yeah, this looks unique. Because I bet you, literally, if I try to jump off here, it won't work. Uh, the game is very specific on where you can dive, which sucks, because I wish you yeah. could do it all the time. But either way, no, 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 no. no. Oh, okay, <laughs> oh, awesome. That was close. You saved it. Yeah. So wait, do I need? Um, you, I think you have to to yeah. vacuum it out of there. Yep. I don't mean to do. Okay, <laughs> I need to put it away because, like, if I click the button, it automatically shoots. Yeah. I thought I'd yeah. hold I it. I know what you do. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. And hey, there we go. it's quite a nice little rattle. Got some birds on it. Pretty yeah. Cool. It's kind of cute. I mean, I don't know why the balls are on the outside. I don't know how that works. And oh, what are these? <laughs> Out of context, Windows? that's such a funny line. What? <laughs> I don't know why the balls are on there. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> anyway. But are these windows? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Um, I have to, I, let's, let's like double check. See, yeah, see if they might line up with the inside of, mm -hmm. inside of the house. I mean, that's some cool architecture. I, I actually sometimes wish... Oh, they are! Yeah. That's yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah. That's really I usually cool. wish, like, when I'm in, um... Like, usually when I'm in, the, like, showering or something, I'm like, man, it would have been so cool to have a window above me to bring in sunlight. So I'm, like, bathing in the sun and bathing. Um, that'd be, right, that'd be pretty dope. I think that's what uh. Gaypora thought when he had a bath, though. <laughs> I wish there was a window above me. And there was. And True. <laughs> <laughs> True. On him, so I don't know. Yeah, Maybe I'm not on, the best in some situations. I, I, I relate to him, but no, nah, I mean that that that's a poor way to do it because it doesn't take you <laughs> yeah. to the outside. But okay, right. no, there you go. The have your rattle. your bird rattle. Do you the, think people in Skyloft ever big. get sick of birds? Nah, birds are dope. You think? What if your yeah. whole life revolved around birds? <laughs> Everything you owned was bird themed. You were named after a bird. <laughs> <laughs> think maybe you get bored of birds? Oh, I mean, okay, maybe when you say it like that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yeah, people have you pets. For... You know, yeah. and you don't get tired of them ever. But yeah, no, maybe you're literally named after a bird. Everything matters. <laughs> Every design you see is a bird. But then look at look at pump, Lumpy Pumpkin, right? They never got tired of it. So he does... That's oh, true. the baby? He has to rattle it for oh. the baby. How does that work? I don't know. Maybe the, the rattle sends the baby to sleep. And that's the point. But uh, it doesn't seem to be working yet. Yeah. I like how you can well, hear her snoring too. At least she's getting her 40 winks. That's all that yeah. matters, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually want to exit and enter and see. I mean, he probably won't. I have to wait till the next day, right? Or is he always going to be standing there? 
I'm oh, curious. Yeah. Or can we just sleep on his bed, right? It's not like he's gonna sleep. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, no, he's still what? there. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'll just sleep here then. Uh, let's sleep until <laughs> nighttime. Wait, but that won't that wouldn't make sense because the bed would be open. I think yeah. I think no matter what, the Nintendo doesn't care. Like they're not gonna put. Cause I want to see him in his little carriage and, um, you know, do seeing what he does with the rattle. Like, is the baby gonna hold it? <laughs> yeah, it's no, bigger than I'll, the baby. Uh, <laughs> it's just a sleepless baby. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, oh yeah, there's another goddess chest that we should grab while we're here. Nice, yeah. Uh, and then is there, is there anything else to do in the sky? Um, there is, there is, like I said, the whole mini game with, or the whole side quest, but again, I want to do both sides, so I feel like that should be its own, uh, thing we focus on. Oh, <laughs> of course, yeah, the, the whole love letter quest, yeah, but we'll save yeah. that for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, um, so we can really focus on it. But yeah, I think... Probably oh. after this, we'll be pretty good to go down to uh, go down um, to the sand sea. Yep, and I think on the other side of uh, this, I I feel like we're like I think yeah, our loftwing farted out a gratitude crystal a long time ago, <laughs> right? Should I go check that I quick? I think so. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. In the in the the pen that the Bruce put him in. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh and nice uh, storm. have I ever picked up these? These bugs are only at night, right? That scared off. Wait, where'd it go? What? <laughs> Oh, there they are. Uh, what? I see. Oh, it glows. Oh, it glows from time to time, so it's hard to tell. Oh, right. Okay. Where is it? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, it flew out. Oh, well. Oh. Um, Bye. Yeah. And too bad when you, you land on Skyloft, you, I don't think... You, could you land on this side? Like, I have to run through this cave if I want to... Oh, yeah. It's all... It, it kind of... It spawns you kind of approximately where you drop, but there's only a few actual like spawn locations on mm -hmm. Skyloft, right? You can't just yep. dive wherever you want. Yep. Um, but let, oh. Let's have a look. Oh, that's okay. nice. That's yeah, one not where I thought that was. Is that a bonus one or? Yeah, I. Th let's have a look. Is we'll there one see. in the pen? Yeah, I we'll think. See in I, a sec. Yeah, I think there might be as well. Um, Ooh. Yes. Yes. Nice. I guess I appreciated okay. getting trapped in by Groose and yeah, just. Decide to poop out some I gratitude. I think it probably appreciated being let out <laughs> rather than being trapped. Like <laughs> True, and maybe in that moment. <laughs> that's, bro, yeah, that makes way more sense. <laughs> I like your theory, though. I don't know, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, deep down, the, the loft wing, you know, likes it raw. Okay, I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah. I like, uh, your your theories have been on point this LP. <laughs> I think that so the beetle farting theory is probably still yeah. the highlight for me. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm really rational. You know, I I definitely of think course. my things yeah, through yeah, before well, I say. I don't just spew it out of my mouth <laughs> without a thought. <laughs> yeah. What, what what sort of person would just say things without thinking? <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 Okay, um, now let's grab it. At least we're next to the the other one. Um, oh god, okay, that was awkward. Uh, how do I do this one though? Or, or was I supposed to? Huh? I think you have to claw shot up to where we were again, um, oh. where the, the gossip stone was up there. Really? I yeah, guess I mean, yeah, but you can only do one at a time. Yeah, right. I would have to yeah, dive. Wait. Is there another? I think there's another diving spot. Go for Is that? Yeah. yeah, like that edge. I think we can jump off. Um, yeah, because there's no. Unless no I'm really wrong. I don't know how. Wait, wait. Look down at the island again in a sec. Okay. Um, I don't know if I just saw some ivy on the side. Oh, you think? Well, we're uh, up. We'll here. go up here first. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. And that looks it, like. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know. it is. It is. It is. You think? Okay, let's go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, perfect. Yep. But it does look like here Ooh. there would be some. No. Yeah. There is, okay. No, but it's, no, no, I'm wrong. Wait, this is. Uh, no, no, okay. I was gonna say we can't jump off now, but because uh, we can't uh, fly at night. Sweet, that was hella worth nice. it. Nice. Um, maybe we could buy something. From is that gonna? Yeah. There we go. It's good we got the. Oh no, okay. No, we would have still made that without the wallet upgrade, but still, it's nice to have because it means now we don't we don't have to fret about spending all of our rupees before we go into the dungeon. We're not gonna hit our cap probably. Uh, what yeah. is our cap now? It was a thousand, I think. It's another, we added another 300, right? Or yeah. okay. no, yeah, Either way, 
We can have I don't like how the wallet is red in this game. So yeah, it says plus nine hundred, but on what? On oh, never mind. Nineteen hundred. <laughs> it tells nice. us. Okay. Yeah, it straight up tells yeah, us if we just hit it. So. I think we're good for a while on on wallet upgrades. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess we don't have to buy anything from Beetle. There's nothing I want to buy, anyways. Have I? Ex I never went in this house. Oh. Oh. What's in this house? Oh, it's a storage unit or no. This is just how Gully lives. This is how, okay. Is she the God, same that... cook from the shop? She's always cooking. That was the work most and... terrifying kid I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean. Wow. Yeah, his, he, I don't know. Imagine if he got a haircut, he would have a teardrop face like that. It's true. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. So well, what's she cooking? Each... Another day, another tasty soup. soup? So is, is there soup of a day? Yo, give me some. I, I'll take a bite. But okay. Um, yeah, this is just man. I feel bad for this little kid. Weird. And do they share the same bed? I guess they do. Or he sleeps on the table or something. Like, or she not? <laughs> she's just cooking soup all day and all night. Oh yeah, twenty four seven. Yeah. What's uh, what's on that painting? Wait, when yeah, when, when you wake up in the morning, it see. looks like a painting of Skyloft, but then there's kind of white squares all over it. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, look behind uh. you. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's, oh, oh, it's the kid's drawings. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, like, um, there's not enough room the in this job. house. <laughs> What's he drawn? Okay, so I have His no face. idea. Is, so, is that a self portrait? Is that going to be him? Right? <laughs> He's pretty inaccurate because yeah. uh, the face is too round. Uh, that's a bird <laughs> for sure. You could tell by the beak. Um, yep. And then that's. I don't even, whoa, it looks like some kind of rascal type, you know, it looks like, I don't know, it definitely looks, it looks like, like a Sonic. Human. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> this little kid's a fan of Sonic. <laughs> um, oh, but I see, him. he loves bug collecting, that's why there's bugs everywhere, that also makes a lot of sense. So they both have a hobby, I guess. One better than the other, I mean, really up to preference, like, cooking food is good, what am I saying? But, I mean, if that's all you do, that's kind of weird. Um... <laughs> Well, she, I don't okay. know. She left the house in the day. I don't know. What, don't know where she goes in the day. But, oh no! Uh, remember, uh, in in the bazaar, she's literally doing the same thing. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Wait. No, no. She's not the potion lady, right? No, no. Oh, you don't. Should I, should I show you quick? I'll, I'm literally willing to go back. Yeah. And, go so, on. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I, don't, I don't remember what you're saying. Okay. Wait, what is this? Yeah. Okay. I feel like I pointed it out, but maybe yeah, just in case. Not maybe just for you, you but okay. like for for everybody else. Yeah. So you could. So then. It's, so it makes sense what I was okay. saying earlier. She cooks day and night. So she cooks all night. Yeah. We know that. Let's see what she yeah. does in the day. <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Like, no joke. Uh, oh, okay. This guy's going to talk about the same. But yeah, look. <laughs> oh, of course. No, of course she does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's it looks the, like same the same pot of soup as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, some pepper. Oh, well, she's saying, she's saying something else. But like, yeah, that's all. She, she's just cooking all day and all night. Like, nice. there's a bigger pot, what? at least. And I think the people here are not eating. Never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not She's that not good. not feeding anyone with it. Yeah. But okay. But anyway, let's, uh, yeah. let's head back to Lanayru. Yeah, yeah. We, we still have this whole sand ship ordeal we got to, you know, solve that yeah, we put aside. I guess the skylofting took a little too much this time, but... Um, that's fine. We definitely got some stuff done. And luckily, yeah. if I go in through here, literally within Boost. a matter of seconds. Yeah. But yeah, we go and actually track down this dungeon. It's one of only a few moving Zelda dungeons. Uh, kind uh -huh. of like the Divine Beasts in Breath of the Wild. Or um, oh. the coolest one. Which which game did it first? Uh, which game came out first? Phantom Magos or this game? Um... Phantom Hourglass, Phantom right? Hourglass. No. yeah. Yeah, so this did it before Phantom Hourglass. Uh, or did it did it after Phantom Hourglass, my bad. But you know what I'm talking about, right? Moving dungeon, Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, it's also a ship. The ghost ship. Oh, of course, the ghost ship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what am I thinking? Yeah, the other ship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally the whole um. plot of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you track that one down. That one's way cooler to track down, I'll be honest. They did it better in that game yeah. with the beeping fairies trying to locate it. And then, 
you just seeing it's it's so much creepier and so much cooler and like the fact that it can chase you down or like appear at random before you finally track it down for good is super cool but i think this is a in reference to it so literally we're also kind of tracking it down we're waiting for a beep and then oh it's cool you can travel in first person and see i think we can bump into it so i'm just gonna keep going yeah see yeah, there you go there we go we, we literally bumped into it and then you can also see it on the reticule yeah there we go so like see yes you can literally like yeah. And there we go, we hit it. There Such a go. cool concept. Really yeah. cool. Yeah, so it's got some kind of cloaking mechanism. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just continue chasing it down, and then... There you go, just hit it again. There you go, hit it again. Oh, no. Oh, almost. It moves fast. Or I'm it, it does move fast, yeah. Deceptively yeah. fast for something that big. Uh, uh, okay, well, we lost we'll have to this. douse again. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's not far. Okay. Uh, let's go, 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 go. No, okay, maybe? No. It's, I, it, like, even if I do see it, I can easily lose track of it. Um, you know what? It does Screw move it. fast, yeah. I don't, I don't remember yeah. moving that quickly. Okay. I'm just gonna get super close to it again. Yeah, just bump into it and then fire. Yep. Okay, yeah, fire, fire, fire. Nice. Yep, Takes a while ahead. for Link to... Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's just project where it is. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got it. Oh. There she is. And now yeah, the other device stopped working. Um, I I wonder how they got captured or how. I mean, imagine that that's some Marvel like you know concept <laughs> where it's like <laughs> that's their well, how, device. How the pirates actually took over the ship. No, 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 how, like, uh, it is completely cloaked and they can, you know, just do that without getting caught. But, yeah. Um, oh, it's like, yeah, some kind of Star Trek thing. But, yeah, here we go, the sand ship. Yep. Uh, and I'm going to say it again. I was almost <laughs> going to stop myself, but good dungeon. Really yep. good dungeon. <laughs> yep. There's a sort of a theme here with Skyward Sword's dungeons. Mm-hmm. And, and, oh, yeah, this, this was the one, I guess, we kind of glossed past it because it's so much different this is the one animation where link just immediately starts climbing up and yeah. oh i'm an idiot um can i zoom in i can't that what that last area that i wanted to see is where the shan ship docks see right. remember i said oh there's one last area we didn't explore yeah so you can't actually explore that area that makes complete sense yep. so there would have been nothing here if we if we traveled here anyway um yep. until till we get onto the sand ship but yeah, um, I think that about does it for, for this episode. So join us next time for Dungeon 5, The Sand Ship. Yep. See you next time. Peace.